Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use and install Olama on Windows, right? That is a very nice thing. So initially Olama was only for Mac and Linux, but now there is a Windows preview. So let's see how to work with it. So you just, just have to go to Olama.com and then when you come back, you can download it here. So we have the Windows preview. So I'll click on this one. It requires Windows 10 and then later, right? So it's installing or downloading. So once it has downloaded, so this is it, right? Then I'll click on this one to open. So that is how to work with it. So let's go back to the download folder you Can open the download folder in case I have it. Here is it. And then yeah, you can see that this is opening here, yeah, right? And then I can just go with install. And it's installing in this particular location. So this is the location that is installing. My local, this particular location here, right? Apps, local programs. That's where also the model is going to be. Mm -hmm. And now you can see that it's showing it here, Lama is running, right? So that is how to work. So let's go back again and open our terminal. So I'll go back to my Windows terminal. Yep. And let's open it and run Olama. It's already running. So in case you want to stop it, you can just go back to this here. And then you can see view the logs to view any logs and you can also quit it in case you want to quit it. So let's see how to work with it. So I'll go back again and I'll see, check and see if it's already added to path. So Olama. And I can list if I have any models. So there are no models on my Olama, right? I don't have I, ha I don't have any model so let's install a model so Olama then I can just go with the pool or let's go with run tiny llama I don't have a lot of space but I can work on it so in case you want to get all the models you go back to the official website come back to the models here and then you can search for one so what we need is tiny llama so this is the model that we are using it's not that big if I check the tags this was a recent one, so I can download it. So I'll copy this and then we can download it. You can also install Mistra and the rest, right? But this is quite not big. So this is how to work with it. And then it's downloading. The nice thing about now is that there is also Python that you can also use. So if I go back to the official Ulama location, there is also Llama Python, which you can also check. So there is Llama Python, yep, yeah, which is the new library, which you also install and see how to work with it, right? Very cool. That is very nice. So it's installing them. Perfect. So now I can ask them message. So uh, what, what is a large language model, right? And then it's going to return the result, right? Which is very cool. I like this UI. It's a large language model. It's a powerful tool that can be used for test processing and blah, 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 right? That is very nice. That is how to use Olama on Windows. Very simple. And once the server is running, you can also do a lot of things with it, right? So now after I just finished, in case I want to see the other models that were installed, I can go back again. Let's open another tab let's make it bigger and go with olama list and you can see that now i have my model here which was created right and then in case i don't want it i can just go with olama remove and then i'll just specify the name in case i don't want the model anymore perfect well it's still generating perfect so let's see some other stuff here you can also do by default, it's running on a particular port that we can also listen on. I think the port is local host. And then the name of the port is, is uh, let me paste the port here. And this is Olama, right? So you can also query, or in case you have a uh, postman or any of them, you can query to this particular, uh, this endpoint, just as you are doing here. And then it's going to work right with the same interface like in case you're using OpenAI 
all that which is very cool but that's how to install olama on your system it's very cool very nice you can also set verbos in case you want to see i think set verbos we are setting verbos and then we can now type in something right there so that it will just give you a lot of information with the set verbos so let's see how to work with the python version so i'll go back again to my location go with pip install olama right and then we have olama there is also for javascript which is also very cool there is python library which is very nice right just pip install olama and then it gives you the option of using this wonderful interface like with uh church chat gpt and open ai right which is very cool so you just go with the olama olama chat model then you specify your message and then it's very nice right you can also stream it in case you want to stream the information like in one character at a time very nice okay so let's see now we just finished installing and then we can work on it right you can communicate with our api just as we did earlier on okay so yeah set verbos is giving me some information about it in case you want to stop it from running you can just go back again and then you can just click on this and then you can just quit uh, ulama perfect so there is also the logs option in which you can see the app logs the server logs in case there are any logs from the system you can see it here there is also some for the app logs right which is very cool and then there are many things you can also do if i come back to here very nice so that is how to work with olama on windows so thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you have learned something see you another time stay blessed bye